Hello and welcome to another one of our five minute tutorials on FEMAP and NX Nastran. This tutorial is going to be on custom toolbars and transferring your settings. My name is Adrian with Applied CX and I wanted to do this video because they just released FEMAP v12. So any sort of new install, there's a lot of new setup. So we want to do help you minimize that sort of setup time and transfer over all of your good settings from your existing version of FEMAP. Let's start with an older version of FEMAP. I have 11.4 here. There's lots of different ways to customize your FEMAP install. One of the most common ones for me is setting up the toolbars the way I want and adding custom toolbar buttons. If you click in the blank space up here and go to customize, you have the ability to add commands from the file menus or simply move commands from one toolbar to another. The other thing I like to do is create new toolbars. I'll call this one AJ Post. Really to get the best transferability from one version of FEMAP to another, it's best to create your own custom toolbars rather than modifying one of the FEMAP defaults. For example, I could add something like rebuild or check some forces to an existing FEMAP toolbar, that might not transfer over. But if I add these commands to my own new custom toolbar, they're a bit better about transferring. You can also move from one toolbar to another or even copy. So if you hold the control key, you can copy these commands without moving them from their original location. Now, you've probably heard before FEMAP API is very useful. One of the things I think them, makes them a lot more useful is being able to access them with a toolbar button. It's a lot quicker than digging them up and opening them in the API programming pane. So to do this, I need to add this to my list of user commands. I'm gonna go track down an API. This API modifies the output vectors. I'll give it a title. and I'll add it to the list. Now, I actually need to close down Customize to save that user command. Then when I go to open it back up under Commands, I see it here in my list of user commands. So I'm gonna add that to this toolbar here. This is my AJ Post custom toolbar, and you can park this wherever you want. So this API cycles through major principle, minor principle, and von Mises stress. Now I'm gonna go into preferences and under the user interface tab, I'm gonna save this layout file. I'll call it AJ PMAP B11.4. It's gonna take my menus, toolbars, panes, shortcut keys, and user commands. Okay, let's go over to FEMAP V12 and see what we can bring over with us. So here's the uh, new FEMAP V12 default view and default layout. I'll modify my layout by going into preferences, user interface, and I'm gonna load that layout file that I just created. It's not gonna transfer absolutely everything, but it generally does a pretty good job. So there's my output vector switch command. Go to some results, contour these, and we can cycle through the different output vectors. Now view settings is another one that I like to transfer over. And you can modify any of the view settings from F6 view options. The best thing to do is leverage a model where you've already made these changes. So let's open up that previous model I had. We'll give it a descriptive title. How about just V12 view. And I hit control Q to go to visibility. And from visibility, I can save this view to the view library. 
Now let's switch over to our existing model. Control Q, load view. There it is. You can see you can save multiple views to your library. And I've now transferred over my existing view to a new model here. All the colors and text size set up the way I like it. So I hope that helps out with a couple of customization things, transferring over to a new version. If you want access to a model with these view settings already configured to the APIs that switch vectors or other seminars, five minute videos, check out appliedcx.com. We've got all these resources there for you. Hope you find something useful and thanks for your time.